What's up guys, it's your boys, the Wokey back out with some more scary, crazy, creepy, paranormal, but today, instead of seeing a compilation of a whole bunch of scary stuff all together like we normally do, we're going to go to another channel that I definitely enjoy watching all the time, and we've witnessed his videos a couple times when it comes came to the Shanann Watts and the Watts murders. We watched this uh, YouTube channel, great YouTube channel, Franco TV. I'm super excited about this because this channel is one amazing i've i've been subscribed to it for quite a long time um this video that popped up the thumbnail looks super creepy it looks super great i was like you know what i'm gonna do a reaction to this because i want to see what this has because it says also something really bad happened spent the night in the most haunted manner which we're gonna be taking a look at i've seen some dolls in this i've seen some creepy voices and and Things moving, so you and I on Scare with Swokey are gonna watch this and see what Franco TV has in store for us on this new video. So grab a chair, guys, and popcorn to take a look at this together on Scare with Swokey right here, right now. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting that red bar icon down at the bottom right. Turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon next to it. So I do post videos like this one. You're going to get that little ring notification. And it's Wilkie we'll myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And I say this on every video, but thank you guys so much for the support and the continuation of all that you guys do. Subscribing, commenting, liking, sharing, all the above. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Tell those friends and your family. And that further do we're gonna get into this video right now but make sure you guys go over to franco tv and give him some love do the thing subscribe comment like and share give him the love that he deserves for putting this together for us and also i have some good news is the first investigation that i'm going to be trying to get into is the Velisca axe murder house that is in Velisca, iowa i'm going to be calling them tomorrow to make my reservations hopefully it's not too far out but i am going to actually get into it to where I actually reserve my spot for the night with hopefully some friends or my fiance or whatever have you, but we are gonna go and investigate the Velisca Axe Murder House. I'm super excited, but more details will come with that. That's why you need to subscribe and turn on notifications. So when I do post that video, whenever it does happen, you guys will be the first to, to know. But we're here for Franco TVs. Something really bad happened, spent the night in the most haunted manor or mansion, I'm guessing, but we're gonna take a look at it. So buckle up and let's take a look. Hello. Ooh. Oh. I'm really jumping today. No. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Look at the way this manor looks. It looks like it's been cobblestone together. <laughs> Malvernon Manor, part one. There's gonna be two parts. Oh, part one is gonna start to, right, to do a two-parter. Make sure you guys like the video and comment down below if you want part two when he uh, gives us part two. Spooky ooky. What is up, guys? Thank you for watching Franco TV. So, I traveled all the way to Iowa to explore. This is in Iowa, too? OMG. One of the most haunted locations up here called Milvern Manor. Tonight, I'll be spending the night here doing an all nighter exploring this place, first floor and second floor. Josh is the owner of this location, and he was telling me that the activity here is super high. They have things from shadows, sounds, footsteps, things moving on camera, and all sorts of craziness that's been going on. Enough with the talking, and let's get right into the video. These are some of the haunted oh. dolls and artifacts that they have inside Milvern Manor. Is that doll made out of These a book? These are divot boxes that haven't been opened. Look at that. 
Is that skin? Please tell me that's not skin or fat. This is how this place used to look like back in the day. Oh, it doesn't look too bad there. That's when it was actually in function. Oh, is that a bone back there? There's a bone back there. A lot of people have no been Ouija known board. to using the Ouija board in this location. Nope, sorry. As you can see, I don't really mess with Ouija boards because that is really a step into some crazy stuff. Good but thing, Frank. a lot out. of use of Ouija boards here. And you can look. Down oh. here they have some pretty cool designs of it. I, I kind of like the way it looks, though. How they are. The pentagrams. Look at that. No, thanks. Look at the plane chat. Oh. This area here was the waiting room or the main entrance for whoever wanted to come here. It's so creepy. Hello? My dude is doing this by himself. I give him props. Washer and dryer. Is that a piano? I believe there was a room here with a doll. There's two of them in there. Don't go in there. I remember this place from last time. Oh, he's been there before. Last year. So, I could hear something outside the room. I'm just waiting to see a figure standing there. Now, as I'm walking through here, I can already hear. It sounds like movement. Oh. Listen. Could it be the house settling? I honestly don't think I can do this by myself. I need somebody with me. I now have my night vision SLS camera over there. And this is where the reportings of a shadow man can be seen. I'm gonna sit on this table here, or this, this sofa. Half of Ottoman. the sofa, so it's just the fa. <laughs> and let's move this. You got toys there too? Right here. In case it decides to move a ball. Right now, I am sitting in one of the creepiest areas in this building. I'm alone. I just want to ask questions to seeing if the shadow man or the being that haunts this area of this building can make any sort of sound or noises, or even oh, an apparition, so creepy. or a knock, anything that could let me know that I'm not alone. I do have a K2 meter, but first I'm just going to ask questions and seeing how that works. Is there anybody here with me in this room? I'm alone here with you in this hallway. This is the second time I've been here. I know the last time I was here was hearing noises and earlier today I was hearing noises. That ball starts is moving. Any sounds that you can give me so I know that I'm not alone? I'm gonna lose it. Can you give me some sort of sign that you're here with me? I'm really hoping that maybe this ball will move. Oh, shit. <laughs> he did a 
the same thing. <laughs> he like spreads his legs. I'd be doing the same thing, my dude. I got a loud noise from the back of the hall. Yeah, you did. Hello? Do you want to talk with me? I am literally freaking out right now. I would have cracked my pants. Marco. What would have happened if something said Polo? <laughs> Can you come close to me so I know where you are? <clears throat> I'm waiting to see... I'm waiting to see a head pop out. I know that this is your area. Maybe I shouldn't be here, I, I don't know, but I won't know unless you tell me. I am getting subtle spikes on my K2. The sounds of the bang could have been coming from this direction. Down this hallway is Gracie's room to the far right. My heart's pounding, I don't know about you guys. Hello? What the hell is that? I'm not sure why there's a bag of water. There's like BBs in it. Let me know. At this point now, I'm gonna go ahead and start exploring Gracie's room, which is the room with the doll, and seeing what happens from there. Let's get into it. This is the device that I'll be using tonight for the EVP session. This I'll just turn on, hopefully I have batteries, yeah. And I'll go ahead and start with this. Let's go. I could hear the SLS already going off out there. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, okay. So it's like the connect. I would not lay on that bed. With He's right next to a doll. Is there anyone in this room with me that would like to talk with me? I heard that there's a weird connection that connects here to the Axe Murder House. I could hear bangs outside again. The Velasca? If that doll moves. Oh, I'm so jumpy. Is there anyone in this room with me that would like to talk with me? I heard that there's a weird connection that connects here to the Axe Murder House. I can hear bangs outside again. Nothing. Gracie, are you here with me in this room? Earlier I had a K2 spike, was that you? Were you next to me? Gracie, 
are you here with me in this room? Earlier I had a K2 spike, was that you? Were you next to me? Marco! The heck are those two little things in the door? Oh, it's the tripod. Oh my gosh. It's the bolts from the tripod. Did he just get something? You can definitely see me. I have chills right now. Something about can you see me or can you feel me? Listen. I'm not sure what that just picked up or what that's saying. That definitely said something about like, can you and see me? I don't me? want to misinterpret that. I feel like you can see me. Can you repeat to me what you just said? I didn't hear you clear enough. What the hell was that? It was definitely a woman's voice. Can you repeat to me what you just said? I didn't hear you clear enough. So I was in the room, listening to the EVP. I keep hearing what sounds like... ...movement or a door closing. That's so creepy! Oh, Just those long tunnels. Shows. Oh, is that that toy? Oh my gosh. First of all, what set that toy off? I would be losing my crap. My dude was at the opposite side of the room, or the house. Thank you. 
Yeah, I did, I did too. Or door slam. That one. The one to your right, right, that one. That was open. I'm thinking it's that one. Oh, I could do, not do this by myself. Is that a toilet? I'm hearing chattering. All right, I don't know what that was about. I've been hearing bangs all day, but that was a lot louder than what I've heard. And as far as that toy going off, that isn't my first time I, I've seen a toy go off. That usually could be either be like a bad sensor or it just goes off. Bad sensor, you had to push the face in to make it go off. There ain't no sensor on that kick toy. Off, or maybe something else. This moment now, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to using night vision camera. I'm also gonna leave another night vision camera where that toy had just went off. In case if it does happen again, you can see if it's like a malfunction or something else causing that to happen. That being said, let's get into it. I am now using a spirit box to go ahead and communicate with whoever is in this house with me. If you would like to communicate with me, you can speak to me through the box. You can make a sound within this house, which I just heard not too long ago. Let me know that you're here, how many of you that are here. Would you like to talk with me? How many people are here with me in this house? So there's a second floor? Okay, what I think I just got there was the sound of somebody saying, hey buddy, I could be wrong, but this is what I'm understanding from me sitting here. Also, I have a weird feeling that something's right here in this dark room. I could barely see it with my peripheral, but I could see a very... I heard that. Kind of freaking myself out. <laughs> Here's that toy again. Is there somebody standing in the room next to me? <laughs> it said, Look from behind. You want me to look from behind? How many people are here with me right now? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I am too. I have, a, I have a strong present feeling on my right of my body right now into this room. I don't know why I feel it, but since I sat here, I felt like something's watching me through these doors or the hallway that's right next to me, next to the staircase. Is there someone there? Oh, I 
That's so creepy. Whatever happened to the shadow man that has been seen here multiple times? Do you want me to be afraid of you? Was that you that just made that noise? It was behind the camera. I heard a noise coming from in front of me. My heart's yeah, pounding. I'm afraid right now. What the hell is that? I am getting a loud sound coming from the second floor. Why did you go up there? It sounds like footsteps coming from the second floor right now. Or is that going to be part two? I'm going to take the night vision. The feeling that you gotta feel, knowing that you're the only one in that building, and you hear that. Oh! That was actually pretty dope. That was actually good. I enjoyed this one, with it not being just a compilation, but almost like a story. And you're watching it from the beginning to the, the to, to be continued, hearing the little creaks and the footprints and the and the voice box. I can't wait to do this myself at the Velisca um, Axe Murder House. Hopefully we can get in, but we also have the uh, preparation of doing the Stanley Hotel. It's gonna happen in 2022. I'm bound determined to do this myself. I'm not going by myself. Hell no. I'm going with some people or my fiance, whatever have you. But this episode of um or this video of Franco TV, um, that something really bad happened, had me on the edge of my seat almost the entire time. Listen to everything. I'm super excited for part two. If you guys are excited for part two, make sure you guys comment down below that you want me to do a part two of this when Franco TV definitely drops it. I can't wait. It's almost like the kind of like the Christmas uh, anticipation where you're waiting for your opened up your presents or you're waiting for one of the Marvel movies to drop. I'm actually getting that feeling from Franco TV. So you did a good job, Franco TV. I can't wait to see that or what to hear from that other uh, EVP. Uh, I, I something about can you see me or can you can you see where I am and then the footsteps upstairs. Oh, I can't wait to hear and see more when it comes to the next part. So again, like the video, comment down below what you guys think of this uh, episode of Franco TV. Do you guys want me to do more Franco TV? I would surely love to do more Franco TV. He's done a whole bunch of things when it comes to cent or, uh, cemeteries and abandoned buildings, and I've seen uh, quite a bit of his stuff, but there's more to be had and more to be seen. So comment down below your guys' thoughts, like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, Keep learning on. I will see you guys next time. Peace.